everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do a look in on some zodiac signs. Um, looking in on Leo right now, um, for some odd, strange reason today, I feel like there's a few signs that uh, maybe I should take a peek on. So, let's see what's going on with Leo right now. Dive right in. Bottom of the deck. Leo, you have the Eight of Cups. And this is the emotionally walking away. At one point, all those cups were full. And this person has sipped from every single one of them. And for whatever reason, it's not cutting it. So they choose to go to the unknown. To find something that is more emotionally fulfilling. So, let's see how that applies here. Leo, you're going to be starting off with two major cards. First one's the lovers. The intertwining of two souls. The I get you card. And it's a connection like no other. And what's crossing to help or hinder, Leo, get the wheel of fortune. Now, this is in the upright, and this is good karma. This is being on the bottom of the ebb flow and going in the upright. So, things start falling in place. Things start working in your favor. You might think that maybe you're on a lucky streak, you know, because things just happen to be falling into place right where they need to be. This is divine timing, Leo. So, if this has got to do with a relationship, that before, you know, you didn't think it was going anywhere or making any progress. Okay, it's going now. Now, in your foundation, you, know, you get the Six of Swords. And this is the emotionally walking, emotionally walking away. No, this one's sailing away. <laughs> I'm still looking at this card over here. This is the moving to comma waters. Leaving a situation behind and going to a better one. Now, I think these two cards are a little similar. It's the moving from something that is not emotionally cutting it, that isn't cutting it, the situation altogether, and moving forward with it. Now, I couldn't help but see under this. She got the Ace of Cups. This is the Holy Grail of Love. Is that what you're in pursuit of, Leo? Is something more fulfilling in love? Hmm. Now, what's crowding your whole reading here, Leo? You get the Ten of Swords. You know how I feel about this card. I'm so done with you card. Deuces. Tends to be at the end of a cycle. Leo. It could be that you want to leave somebody for somebody else. That's not for everybody. That's just for a small few. But I think you are at your wit's end. Because the moving the comma waters, this is thoughts. And your emotions seem to be cooperating with your thoughts. Hmm. Now, in your recent past, Leo, you got another major here. You got the judgment. 
This is making a judgment call. This is rising up from the ashes. This is hearing the call. Could it mean reconciliation? Sure. A second go at something? Absolutely. So in your recent past, you have made a judgment call. Perhaps you did move away from something that you just knew you had enough of. Something wasn't serving you. Now, whether this was a karmic connection that you have with somebody, and why I say karmic, because this is like the karma card, and then the intertwining of the two souls. Leo, I'm kind of thinking that maybe you thought somebody was a soulmate when the truth of it is, is that they were a lesson soulmate. And what I mean by that is that some people are put in our lives to learn a lesson from. And you feel so connected to them. You could swear that is a soulmate connection, but you got to learn something from them. Maybe you've left them. Maybe they have left you. Because stuff happened. And you were devastated by this connection. And you had to make a call. This seems like, to me, a head. Because it's your, most, your thoughts over heart. Cups being the emotion. I think so. And Leo, that is the hardest decision to make. Especially when you feel so connected to somebody. But it... People don't treat people like that, especially when it's a lifelong connection. So this might have been a lesson connection. And they're hard. Leo, they are hard. Now going into your future, Leo, here's your suit. You get the king of wands. King, queen, don't matter. It's an energy. And this is an energy of being motivated. Go get it done. Fired up. Passionate. Having drive. And this going into your future, Leo, maybe you're coming back into your element. And because you had to leave something behind, you can come back into your element. Be more you. Now, how people see you in your environment, Leo, they see as a tool of wands. Being at a crossroad. Gotta go somewhere, Leo. Left, right, high road, low road. But people see you as conflicted. And again, leaving something behind that is so connecting but you know you know you have to and be motivated motivated enough to do it leo what's in your environment the devil now yes this could be passion and desire too but it could also be an illusion an obsession an addiction. Feeling bound and tied to something that you never think is going to change or end. And Leo, this being in your environment just lets me know more that this was a lesson connection that you had with somebody. And you have to leave it. 
because it's not serving you any good to hold on to it. And Leo, I think you know this. It's like, like I said, the head and the heart decision. But when I see these two cards, like I said, your head and your heart are in agreement that you're done with this. You're done. Now, in your hopes and in your fears, Leo, you have the Nine of Pentacles. And this is the entrepreneur card. Now, whether you have a business and it's doing well, or you work for somebody and still you're doing well, this is the solo card of being independent, not relying on anybody else. And this is in your hopes and fears. So I'm thinking that you're hoping that without this other connection that you can be successful on your own. And Leo, I think you can. As hard as it may be, your outcome card is the Knight of Wands. Now, this is a messenger of taking that course of action. Being motivated to make this move. Now, Leo, I know that it is not easy. Especially when you feel so connected. Remember, it's, it's a karmic connection. Leo, get what you can out of it. The lesson that needs to be learned. Why this happened. You'll be okay, Leo. You'll be okay. By taking this course of action and freeing yourself from something that's toxic. Break the chains, Leo. Break those chains. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And I will see everybody back here real soon. Take care.